Good afternoon everyone, here's your latest video update on Tropical Storm Now Typhoon Matma or Bagyong Henry on this Saturday evening July 19th 2014. No rest for the weary as they say as we just had the super typhoon Ramasun plow across the island of Hainan in southern China. It has now made landfall in the province of Guangxi and is currently moving actually into northern Vietnam, bringing, bringing some widespread light to moderate rains in the region and also some gusty winds. The system will rapidly weaken and continue to de de deteriorate uh, over the next few hours and should dissipate over uh, as early as tomorrow. Um, for more updates on that system, you can visit westernpacificweather.com where we have a recap of the um, news that uh, we have uh, gathered across southern China and also the Philippines where the death toll from this typhoon has now climbed over uh, 70 people as of this uh, morning. Now, again, as I said, we are continuing to watch Typhoon Matmo east of the Philippines, uh, another tropical cyclone that developed uh, on the heels of Typhoon Ramasun. So this system is the uh, one we're watching right now and uh, again continuing to develop as it moves across the Philippine Sea. Matmo or Bagyong Henry was last located approximately 620 kilometers northwest of the island of Palau or about 670 kilometers east of the city of Tacloban out here in the island of Leyte in uh, the Visayas region. According to the Je Je Meteorological Agency, uh, the uh, system now has sustained winds of 120 km per hour with gusts of up to 175 km per hour, again, a typhoon intensity. Uh, this is uh, one instance, one rare instance, wherein the JMA actually has higher wind estimates than the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Uh, the JTWC is still uh, maintaining Matmo as a tropical storm, but on the cusp of becoming a typhoon, you see maximum sustained winds there, 110, with gusts of up to 140 kilometers per hour. The system has also started moving more to the northwest now at 20 kilometers per hour. Remember, we were forecasting the system to move northwestward 24 hours ago, but it has continued on that westward movement more than we anticipated and has tracked much closer to the Philippines and you can see later why that is very important uh, for this system uh, systems track over the next few days. But as far as the organization is concerned, you can see in this latest infrared uh, satellite image loop, uh, central convection is there, very cold cloud tops, again indicating strong convective activity. But in terms of overall uh, banding, we have seen the eye wall form along the southern periphery but is still trying uh, having difficulties wrapping up along the northern half of the circulation the system is still experiencing uh, some northern northeasterly wind shear you can see the impingement on the northeastern quadrant of that system and that is again limiting to the intensification that we've been seeing uh, we are expecting the system to intensify a bit more uh, over the next few days and could actually enter a period of rapid intensification beginning tomorrow as the upper level winds relax a bit and should help the system consolidate even more. Uh, as, as we all know, Philippine Sea is home to very warm water, especially just east of the Philippine Islands, and that should fuel uh, the system as it tracks northwestward over the next few days. And here we are uh, with the uh, latest forecast tracks from the computer models. Each line uh, consists of a, a distinct forecast from a distinct computer model. And as you can see, the consensus is tracking uh, Matmo to the northwest and perhaps into Taiwan or perhaps the uh, southern Japanese islands as we move into the middle part of next week. However, as we've said before, the system has tracked much more westward uh, over the past 24 hours. That is because of the strong subtropical ridge anchored across the western Pacific and that is uh, steering Matmo more to the west. Uh, the critical ri critical part of our forecast here is determining when that uh, when that where that weakness is in the ridge, uh, which uh, should uh, allow Matmo to turn to the northwest. And um, thankfully, it looks like the system is turning more to the northwest this afternoon. But again, we'll have uh, that is something that we'll have to monitor over the next few hours. Now, turning more to the forecasts from the agencies, we got Joint Typhoon Warning Center here, and again showing that uh, northwestward turn and uh, expecting Matmo to intensify into a typhoon perhaps by tomorrow 
reaching a peak intensity of perhaps around Category 3 strength as we move into Tuesday afternoon and into the evening hours. Maintaining also some distance uh, east of the Philippine Islands. Um, but the uh, system is forecast to make landfall in uh, the island of Taiwan uh, as we move into um, Wednesday uh, afternoon. Again, as a strong Category 3, perhaps a Category 2 typhoon around that time, bringing in some very heavy rains and also strong winds along the eastern coast. And finally, we have the Japan Meteorolo Meteorological Agency. And you can see the difference of the forecast track compared to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. You can see here JMA tracking MATMO much more to the west, much closer to the Philippine Islands. And it's actually taking the center right towards the province of Cagayan along the northeastern tip near the town of Santa Ana as we move into Tuesday and Wednesday. So again, pretty stark difference among uh, across uh, the, the different uh, weather agencies around this region. Just shows you there is still much, there's still that much uncertainty with the forecast track for this typhoon. Again, the critical part of the forecast is the strength of the subtropical, uh, subtro subtropical ridge, I'm sorry, anchored across the Western Pacific. Uh, that is the main steering, uh, the dominant steering pattern in the region. Um, and we will have to watch that ridge and uh, the weakness uh, because that will determine where that system will actually end up. But, uh, but uh, as of right now, anyone living from northern Luzon to Taiwan all the way out here in the Ryukyu Islands should closely uh, monitor the developments of this typhoon as uh, it could impact uh, directly impact your weather as you move into the middle part of next week. Now also one thing I want to note is that even though the system will be tracking east of the Philippines and uh, it looks like uh, the chances of a direct landfall is still pretty low at the moment, uh, Typhoon Matmo is expected to enhance the southwesterly monsoon by next week. In fact, we're already starting to see some rain, rain showers impact parts of uh, well, Visayas and also parts of northern Luzon. We continue to see that stream of moisture being uh, enhanced by the uh, circulation and also by the inflow. So expect more rains to uh, persist across uh, much of Luzon and much of Visayas as we head into the next few days. But that concludes our update for this evening. Again, if you have, uh, if you want to know more about uh, Tropical Storm Drama soon and its impacts across southern China, please visit westernpacificweather.com. And as always, you can... Visit our websites for the latest updates and information on the tropical cyclones. And as always, uh, please uh, follow the instructions and warnings and uh, of your local officials. And um, we'll see you on our next update. Stay safe.